I studied SQL, Python, Power BI and Tableau. I have done all the courses in Udemy, Coursera and Eureka. I have done 3 to 4 projects from Kaggle. I have applied to more than 1000 jobs in the last 6 months but no success. So if that's you, you would be asking me how to actually stand out in this job market and find a job as a data analyst. If you just build projects from Kaggle, you would just be one among the 1000 people who are doing the same projects and hence your resume is going to get lost among the crowd. In this video, I am going to give the solution to all of this that will help you stand out in this job market and land that job in 2025. My name is Sandeep and in this channel I talk Talk about data analytics, masters in US, and job search. So if you are someone interested in these topics, please consider subscribing to the channel. I recently came across a YouTube video from Luke Burrows and where he talks about a project that actually helped the person who made the project find a job. And that project is basically the skill query dashboard. If you see this dashboard, it shows the high demand skills of our data analysts, data science, and machine learning. And that person has actually scraped through all the LinkedIn jobs and, and made a dashboard out of it. This highlights skills such as data collection, data cleaning, data analysis, data visualization, and and dashboard development. Companies are asking for a lot of skills. What are the exact tools and skills that a data analyst job seeker like me has to focus on? This tool will effectively help that person do that. That's what we want to look for when we are doing a project. What are the problems that it's trying to solve? What are the questions that it's trying to answer? What are the stories that you can tell? So based on this exact template, I have come up with five creative project ideas that actually you can use and implement. Project number one, how to improve employee retention rate in companies. As you all know, after COVID, the world changed and people are now moving to a remote world. So this is actually a real world problem. Companies are struggling with retention. Employees are going for better work-life balance, better salary, better work culture, better benefits, and so on. So I'll give you a quick outline on how to approach this. Go to glassdoor.com because Glassdoor allows users to rate companies on work-life balance, compensation, benefits, work culture, growth, etc. So this is probably the best website to get our data from. What you can do is you can set up a web scraper that will scrape through all these comments and reviews for all the companies. The data points you can collect is basically the company name, location, the comment or review, the date of call. And once the data is collected, you can transform and clean it to extract the different dimensions like cliff balance, growth, opportunities, work culture, salary. Basically find a way to rate each company on all these different aspects. Once you have the transform data, store it in a table and then you can actually build a Power BI Tableau dashboard and answer questions like what are the factors that affect retention in small size, mid size on large size companies? How actually the company reviews change over a period of time like for a period of five years? Do senior employees in large companies prioritize work-life balance over salary? Do employees in mid-level companies prioritize growth over salary? And once you have collected insights, build a Power BI or Tableau dashboard, assume that you are making recommendations to HR teams in the companies on how to improve retention rates for small size, mid size and large companies, whether it's providing more salary or improving growth opportunities or improving the work culture, etc. Project 2. Competitive Product Pricing Analysis So for this project, assume that you are a consultant for an e-commerce client. You're going to help the company price their products effectively and help them be competitive. Pick three big e-commerce websites like in the case of US it's going to be Amazon, Walmart and Target. Choose a specific category like electronics, clothing, cooking etc. Pick whatever interests you and similar to the previous project we are going to set up a web scraper to scrape through all the product listings and the data points collected will be product name, product price, product quantity, discounts, descriptions, clean and transform the data. Standardizing the product names is most important because that will effectively help you compare the product names across different competitors. Once you have the data now, you can answer questions like how the competitors are pricing their products, how the price is changing over a period of time, find the products which have huge variation and huge difference. Try to find the competitor which actually sets the prices to the main competitor. And you can also use advanced techniques like are you able to set up a price prediction algorithm to predict the prices of the competitors it will actually help your client to price the products and remain competitive. Project number three, is AI a job creator or job killer? This is going to be a very powerful project and got this project idea by getting inspired by that dashboard from Luke Barroso's video. To do this, you can go to LinkedIn, select 10 to 20 job roles, just scrape through all the job listings across LinkedIn. We would need this data over a period of time, let's say like six months to one year. The data points you're going to get is job title, company, job description, posting date, the industry, experience level and location. Once you've scraped the data, clean it and transfer 
transform it in a way that will help you do the analysis and categorize these jobs based on titles industries specifically we are looking for keywords like chat gpt ai automation we're going to look for these keywords in all the job descriptions clean the data in such a way that you know like this company or this job description this is a ai related role or it's a non-ai role and then do the analysis using python or sql and visualize it in a power bi or tableau dashboard you can easily answer questions like what industries are actually adapting fast to the age of ai and how's the demand increasing for ai roles and non-ai roles is that a shift from junior roles to senior roles due to ai are junior roles getting eliminated what are the roles that are in high risk of automation are there any new roles which are opening due to ai this dashboard is going to help any job seeker know exactly what roles are safe from ai and what are not safe from ai and what areas need more upskilling due to ai project 4 what are the most affordable and fastest growing real estate markets in 2025 so for this role you're going to wear the hat of a real estate consultant i'm, I'm going to give this outline uh, based on the us market you would need to go to a website like Zillow or Redfin because that's where you're going to get all the data from. There are going to be different data points like property listings. So in this, you will get data points like what's the price, location, property type, number of bedrooms and bathrooms. The next data point is rental listings. Along with the properties, we also need the rent data to actually calculate rental yields. And then we need the historical price data to actually calculate what's the market appreciation in that particular locality. You can also get the neighborhood information like crime ratings, schools, hospitals, and amenities to assess the quality of life in that neighborhood and also income data for each neighborhood calculate the affordability index once you collect all the data clean it transform it you can easily calculate metrics like what's the annual growth rate in a particular locality what's the rental yield what's the affordability index what's the safety index and so on visualize it in a form of a power bi or tableau dashboard assume that you're providing insights or recommendations to a potential home buyer we can easily identify areas with the highest rental yields uh, for people who are interested in cash flows you can also find areas which have a high growth potential based on the historical data and similarly for people who are budget conscious you can also suggest them areas and localities which are lower priced but also have high growth opportunity interesting questions can be answered and there's a very powerful project that has a high market value project 5 this especially for movie lovers are reddit movie reviews different from traditional movie rating systems like imdb and rotten tomatoes search for subreddits like hollywood bollywood Hollywood, whatever the name of the industry in your country is you can easily find threads for all the movies probably in the last one year whatever movies have released just scrape through all the comments that you can get you can use zero which is a python reddit api wrapper for this to access reddit's api the data point for this project would be movie name user comments upvotes timestamps and user ratings if the comment explicitly mentions a rating and the next step would be doing a text processing and sentiment analysis to actually find out if a comment is a positive or neutral or negative sentiment and and find a way to rate each comment on a scale of one to ten once you do this for all the movies and comments you can easily generate rate overall reddit movie score and that's going to be your reddit movie rating system similarly extract the movie ratings for imdb and rotten tomatoes and once you have all these data points compare reddit imdb and rotten tomatoes by genre by region and you can answer questions like are reddit ratings different from imdb and rotten tomatoes in terms of overall sentiment how's the correlation between the ratings among all these three platforms are there certain genres or certain regions where there is a huge difference between reddit and imdb and rotten tomatoes how does reddit sentiments change over a period of time to take it one step further you can also do predictive modeling if you have seen imdb ratings it usually starts with 9 or 9.5 and then slowly starts decreasing can we use these reddit early sentiments to actually predict the imdb ratings can you actually create a real time reddit sentiment tracker for all the movies which are probably released just today or this week that would be an interesting add-on to this project these are the five project ideas that i thought of and that can inspire you to take action today if you like this video please check out this video where i have talked about what is exactly taught in a fifty thousand dollars master's in data analytics degree in us if you have any questions or if you have any suggestions for me please let me know in the comments below hit the like button to help the youtube algorithm please do share this video among your circle who might find this video useful don't forget to hit the subscribe button see you again soon with another video bye Bye.